All right, we've cleared the first free worlds that were all Disney princess themed. We got all the treasures and we have dominated in Birth by Sleep Fortune Street. So where are we going today? Well, today we are heading off to the Mysterious Tower, combat level three. And yeah, new world, let's go and check it out. However, this world we actually visited in Kingdom Hearts 2, but it was part of Twilight Town back then. Now it's apparently on its own. There he is. Hey, Mickey. And he has the Star Seeker Keyblade. Bye, Mickey. Hmm. Tara's like, oh, brother. <laughs> and here we go. Welcome to the Mysterious Tower. It now gets its own title logo. It did not get that in Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah, so Mickey was wielding the Star Seeker Keyblade. I think I mentioned it in my Kingdom Hearts 2 Let's Play, but the Star Seeker Keyblade, which you get early in Kingdom Hearts 2 after you visit Yensid's Tower, it's actually Mickey's main Keyblade. It's just when Kingdom Hearts 1 comes around, he ditches that Keyblade in lieu of the Kingdom Key D, which is like the golden version of the Kingdom Key. Oh yes, we got Cure. Thank you. Oh boy, just a couple floods. No biggie. And as you can see, we have longer combos now. Thanks to the combo plus ability we got. But only when it comes to ground combos. Way to go, Terra. Use the super powerful finisher when there were no enemies around. Oh, Magnera. Yeah! And wrecked. Also, the reason why Yensid's Tower is like a part of Twilight Town in Kingdom Hearts 2 and it's not in this is because Yensid's Tower, the Mysterious Tower, can kind of like move around on its own. So in Kingdom Hearts 2, it kind of moved next to Twilight Town to be near Sora, but now it's just kind of floating out in the abyss. And we get a balloon letter. Cool. Never know if you need to increase your dealing gauge, I suppose. Big boy chest. Yes, please. Booyah. And we get a magic recipe, a recipe list that reveals what you will create if your melding combination will result in a basic magic command. So we got the attack recipe. This one works for magic spells, but this one's not as useful because oftentimes it's very obvious what magic spell you're going to get. It's like you mix two fires together, guess what? You get fire off. Who could have anticipated that? I have no idea. Also, Yensid has way fewer staircases in uh, Birth by Sleep. <laughs> which means that either in, King in Kingdom Hearts 2, he decided to add a couple of more, or the game's just like, yeah, you know, it's not really that cool just walking up a bunch of staircases over and over again. We'll just skip you right to the top of the tower. Master Yen Sid. Who the heck are you? <laughs> he always looks angry. My name is Terra. Yes, Ericus's pupil. I've been expecting you. It is the unversed. Yes, Master Yen said. I thought it best to seek the counsel of one wiser than myself. Hey, way to go, Terra. Good job. That's always a great thing to do. I am no longer a master. I doffed that mantle. But sir, wasn't that your pupil I passed on the way in? No. <laughs> he had a keyblade. I don't think so. <laughs> you refer to Mickey. He too sought guidance here. As a king, he is good and kind, but the weight of a crown has not cured him of impetuousness. Oh man. He has left with an object whose power he does not understand nor know how to control. Mickey imagines my star shard will be of help in his current quest, and like you, he is eager to use his keyblade to set things right. I'm not sure I even understand what's wrong. Master Xehanort is missing. <laughs> That's a good thing, Terra. That guy's terrible. He always used to cheat at checkers when we played together. <laughs> and now I've learned 
There's a masked boy who is controlling those unversed on the loose. The dog on it is Skull Kid up to his old tricks again. To arrive at the truth, perhaps you should approach things differently. First, consider them one and the same problem. You mean, Master Xehanort is the boy in the mask? That's not really what I- Thank you, Master Yensen! I'll go stop it! Master Xehanort and the Unversed are connected somehow? No, I don't think so. I must not make assumptions. Find Xehanort, Terra. That is where you should begin. No, that's terrible advice. Yes, sir. Hey, is there are there any good fast food places near here? No. I had hoped, Xehanort, your heart would no longer lead you astray. Wait, so you knew that Xehanort was evil and you're just like, well, oh, he's pro he'll probably turn to good. It's like, really? Uh-huh. Terra. <laughs> Master Xehanort. Terra. Come see me at once. Well, this guy can telepathically communicate to your mind. He's definitely not evil. No way. He's just a friendly old grandpa who is uh, trying to help us out. I'm sure. Hey, look! The Lion King world looks a lot different now, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not the Lion King world. Terra becomes a lion. And we got all the treasure chests in Mysterious Tower. Yeah, that is actually not the shortest world in the game, believe it or not. Nope, that actually is not the shortest world in the game. <laughs> There's an even shorter one. But there we go. So if we if we go to our commands, how many of these... Oh, yay, Fyra has finally reached its maximum level, so its HP boost ability is ours to keep. That is fan-fantastic. All right, what else do we want? Um... To be honest, so we have... Oh, we have a second Fyra. Oh, that's right, we made a second Fyra. Yeah, we're training up that one. We want to get that other HP boost. Hopefully our funders will reach a high enough level relatively soon. Do you want to mix Poison Edge with Fire Rod? I guess Fire Strike, but I don't actually really want that. No. Oh yeah, so Mickey's Star Shard, that's like the little blue glass fiend he was carrying. And that basically allows him to travel from world to world without needing this cool Keyblade speeder bike that Terra has. Alright, let's go to Unknown. Yeah, combat level zero. There's nothing bad here. Nothing bad at all. Oh, hey, you guys recognize this place? For those of you who have either played all of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix or watched my Let's Play, this is the area where we fight Lingering Will. Who we know is at least some in some way connected to Terra, because Terra's wearing the same armor as Lingering Will. Master Hello, Terra. <laughs> I'm in my evil pose. Just for you. I have been to other worlds. I know all about the things you've done. You're evil. I just don't understand why. I'm evil, Terra. <laughs> Someone had to safeguard the light from the demon I unleashed. You must know about the boy by now. The one in the mask. His name is Vanitas, a creature of pure darkness, one of my making. Seems legit. Vanitas, are you telling me he came from you? He came from Ventus. Huh? Ventus? <laughs> yes. You sound so confused. Vanitas is the darkness that was inside your friend. It was an accident. While training with me, Ventus succumbed to darkness, and there was but one way to save him. Strip that part of him away, and thus Vanitas was made. Seems legit. Process, I damaged Ventus' heart in the most horrific way. So, I did what I felt was right and left him with Erebus. I do want to point out something interesting. Uh, Xehanort's clothes are the exact same clothes that Ansem Seeker of Darkness wears. Just Ansem doesn't have as many buttons buttoned <laughs> to show off his beautiful chest. SUBMIT! I knew the boy could not stay with me. The man who did instant grievous harm. 
Yeah, yeah, I agree. Push him off the cliff, Terra. It would be hilarious. Master Xehanort. Oh no. Ventus has gotten a lot better since then. You shouldn't blame yourself for trying to save him. Uh-huh. Well, thank you, lad. You know how to put an old man's heart at ease. I like this guy. He's trustworthy. Flashback. This game actually does use flashbacks pretty well. Someone's opening the door. We never get visitors. Oh, it's that creepy grandpa again. And oh, hey, Roxas, it's you. Ooh. Hey, uh, I. <laughs> so, um, something happened. And uh, don't ask questions, but I need you to take this kid. Master Xehanort, what the heck did you do? Uh, nothing. Is he okay? I'm the most trustworthy man in the universe. Hey, bro. I'm Terra. What's your name? Ventus. Whew. You can talk. Yay. Aqua, come here. <laughs> I'm Aqua. Terra. Aqua. Yeah. So, are you here to train with us? Where are you from? Who is that man with you? How about you, like, let him answer? You good with a keyblade? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask more than one question at a time, bro. What's the matter? Are you okay? What did you do? <laughs> I think you should be asking that to the creepy old beardy next to you. Oh no, Master Xehanort is my most trusted friend. He would never do anything bad. Of course not. I mean, just look at the way I walk. <laughs> Very, I'm the picture of trustworthiness. <laughs> Nothing. I, I just asked him some stuff. Oh man, this is bad. He just cannot tell you anything. Because he cannot remember anything. Oh, Master, why is Benita still free? Uh, <laughs> good question. Uh, yeah. Well, I did my best to contain him the moment he emerged, but... He managed to escape. Mm. Benitas uses the Keyblade to sow seeds of darkness. And now you see... The world's team with his ghastly underlings. The Unversed. He has no control over the darkness in his heart. The Keyblade is not his to bear. He's an abomination beyond hope of salvation. Lend me your strength, Terra. Right this wrong that I have wrought. Sure, you see, I believe you. I have you. no idea where to find him. What I can tell you about Benitas amounts to this. His darkness is drawn to the light which he seeks to disrupt. And then destroy. That doesn't tell me anything! <laughs> it stands to reason that he will strike next in the City of Light. Radiant Garden. Ooh! We know that world. <laughs> Of course, we know it as Hollow Bastion. Don't worry, Master. I'll take care of Vanitas. I know you will, Terra. Oh, we can't go back there. We didn't even get to see what the world was called. <laughs> as soon as Terra left, I put this force field of darkness around the world. Um, I'm, I'm a good guy, though. <laughs> uh-huh, sure. <laughs> so now we have a new world we can visit. The Radiant Garden, combat level 4. We're not doing that today, though. Instead, we're going to go back to Dwarf Woodlands, so that way we can uh, grind up our commands a little bit. I want to grind up the commands just because, uh, well, we need to. Gotta! Booyah. You know what? Stands to reason we should be link to speed up the process. Literally speed up the process. Thank you, Ventus. You're done. 
Alright, I'm just gonna let that wear out because I can't hit stuff on the ground. Beautiful. Kira got to level 3. Love that. Yay, Thunder got to level 2. Yay. Ooh, there's also a dark portal here. We should definitely touch it. But first, we gotta clear out all the heartless. I'm sorry, the unversed, they're completely different from the heartless. Very cool. Definitely. A oh, yay! We get another finish move. Rising Rock 1. Yes, there's gonna be a. That's kind of Terra's main finish command. I love the Ventus D-Link. It is so good. <laughs> You're done. Yeah, man, we're just like one-shotting these guys now. Again, the finish boost ability that we got is helping us out with that. Alright, let's revert back. And hey, we're maxed out at D-Links again. Cool. Freeze Raid has reached its maximum level, so has Kira. Fantastic. And we can meld the Funders together. Oh, this is beautiful. All right. First up, Thunder. We are melding with Thunder to get Fundara. We can see that it'll be Fundara because uh, we have the magic recipe. Okay, we have the Shimmering Crystal when using when uh, melding commands. It attaches to abilities and to increase the damage you deal with fire and other elemental attacks. So if we attach the Shimmering Crystal, we will get Thunder Boost, which means our Thunder attacks will be more powerful. However, I am going to attach the Fleeting Crystal, which will be better because Fleeting Crystal will give us Fundara with Magic Haste, which means our magic commands will recharge more quickly and we can use them more often. Which, trust me, we can get up to five of those, and if we get all five, then, uh, that's basically GG. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna meld another two Funders to get Fundara, and this time we attach the Shimmering Crystal, so we can get Thunder Boost. Thunder Boost is very, very good. Let's see, we have Cura. That's great, but... Okay. I am going to take Magnera and move it to the top. Uh, I'm gonna move Fire, uh, move it to the bottom. Going to replace the Cura with Cure. Going to equip our two Fundaras. And, oh, we don't need uh, free, Freeze Raid either. So I'm actually going to move the Fundaras to right after the Magnera. Because these uh, commands go really, really well together. After that, let, let's see. I'll equip the Ever Cure. And I guess... Let's equip a fire. Yeah, watch this. So Magnera, Fundara. Fundara. Boom! It just kills everything. Oh, that's right. And we have the new finish command. Rising Rock Run. Ooh! Rising Rock 1 is good. All right. So if we go to the finish commands, we can now... So Frank's Red Hot. Frank's Red Hot is... Uh, <laughs> doesn't lead anywhere, so we're not going to use this. We could use I Need Cash Now, which leads to these two areas. Or we could use Rising Rock Run, which can... Rising Rock 1, which leads to these three areas. But obviously, we got to rename this one. We now have the wonderful finish command of Minecraft mod. <laughs> this will be great. I'm going to use Minecraft mod because this can give us to, lead us to three different areas. This one up here, I think, is another one of you need to enter a certain command style a certain number of times. And it's a command style we don't have yet. This brown one, I believe, is just level up your commands, get them uh, CP. And then this one, I believe, is take a certain number of steps. So I'm just going to do a little... So if we take a few steps... Oh, yep, sure enough. So 93, 285. Then if we take a couple of steps. 93, 289. So this gray one is the number of steps we take. Which is uh, interesting. But I'm going to use Minecraft mod because 
this is the one we need to use if we want the next Minecraft mod. And that's what we get by leveling up our commands. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. All right. I love the Ventus D-Link, but the finisher is kind of annoying at times. As good as it is. It's oftentimes overkill. So I'm actually going to take a very grave step. We're going to go to our D-Links. And we're going to... Oh, that's right! I forgot we have the Cinderella D-Link. I should be using that instead. D-Link with Cinderella to change your arsenal. She gives us fairy magic. All right. But also, we are going to uh, switch over to the original Ventus finisher, which is a bit faster. I totally forgot. We, why are we doing this when we should be leveling up Cinderella? Oh yeah, Minecraft mod! Boom! I forgot we D-linked with Cinderella. The Cinderella D-link is not great, but better than nothing. All right, we got our fire leveled up, so let's replace it with another fire. The weaker your commands are, the faster they level up. Like, you'll get the same number of CP uh, command points for all of your uh, for all of your commands, but certain commands will need higher amounts of command points in order to level them up. So, for example, you can see, uh, like, fire right here is about to reach level 2, and it has 339 points, whereas the cures are also about to reach level 2, but they only have 177 points. Actually, yeah, look at this. Fundara and the Cures both have 177 points, but look how much farther away these guys are for leveling up. It's because they're more advanced. So there we go. We did that. I think I already showed off the Stroke of Midnight Keyblade. Yeah, it stinks. Don't use it. Uh, was there something else I was going to do? Oh, have we maxed out Ragnarok? We have. Okay, we're going to replace Ragnarok with Flame Salvo. Our air slide is not even close to being high enough level for that. Alright, let's use the Cinderella D-Link. So we have things like Wish Circle. Which is like a... <laughs> move like that. Counter Hammer is great. Enchanted Step. Ooh, there we go. We leveled it up already. Which gives us Auto Remedy. Which basically means that... Uh, <laughs> I believe anytime we get hit with a status effect, it'll just cure it for us. Situational, but not great. We shot just shoot something. Enchanted Step is definitely the best out of all of these. It's a nice dash attack that actually dishes out a good amount of damage. Let's show off our shot lock as well. It's the same one Bendis used in the tutorial. It looks pretty cool though. Oh, and we have Magic Mending, which is a Kira. And Dream Sparkle. We press X as they move over the carriage, and we'll just shoot stuff at the enemies. It's not amazing, but, I mean, eh, it's a living. Magic Mirror on the wall. Oh, the queen. The queen's gone. <laughs> The enemies respawn every time we leave the room, which is a blessing and a curse. Alright, time for Minecraft mod! This is the weirdest looking Minecraft mod I've ever seen. Oh, hey, we can D-Link Cinderella again. Enchanted Step is actually a genuine command that Aqua can get called Barrier Surge. I don't know why it has a different name for Cinderella's uh, D-Link, but it does. I, I don't like the, the Cinderella D-Link finisher. It takes forever, and it's not even that powerful. Alright, our cures are leveled up. Oh, hey, cool! We're about to level up the Cinderella D-Link, which gives us regen, which basically will gradually refill our HP over time. It's not bad. 
And now Cinderella's all de decked up for the ball. The Cinderella D-Link, like, it looks cool. Like, the attacks are very flashy. But they're all flashy, no substance. Oh, hey, we leveled up our air slide, our air slide again. Miracle Dance! This is kind of the same thing, but just instead of shooting stuff at them, we twirl around and deal more damage. Good amount of extra damage, actually. Wow. Nice one, Terra. That was good. Alright, Magnera reached its maximum level, so Combo Plus is ours to keep. I don't think we can meld uh, that with anything, though. We can meld the two fires together, though. So level two fire with... Ooh, actually, we're going to meld the fire with Sliding Dash. That'll give us something interesting. Now, I got to take a look-see here at what this is actually going to meld. Or, I know what it melds, but I need to know what ability it'll give, basically, depending on what crystal I attach, because I don't have the whole command list memorized, believe it or not. No, it's, uh... It's actually very complicated. I'm not sure if a whole... I think very few people would be able to uh, memorize this. Uh, we'll use a Hungry Crystal on it. This gives us Fire Dash with HP Prize Plus. Basically increases the size of the HP points that enemies will drop. That's not bad. And I think we're actually going to meld the other Sliding Dash with that fire as well. And this time we'll add the Wellspring Crystal to it to get Fire Dash with a Combo Plus ability. The Fire Dash may not seem like it'll be that good, but uh, trust me, Fire Dash is actually going to be very, very useful in the near future. For, not because it's very good, it's basically just Sliding Dash, but with Fire. But it can be used as an ingredient for something much, much better. And now this is the time where we're going to meld our other two Cures together to get another Cura. Ooh, do we have a Pulsing? We do have a Pulsing Crystal. Yeah, we're using that to get the other Combo Finisher boost, which for Terra will be very nice. Boost, and should we equip another Thunder? Oh, we have Bind. Bind any enemies grouped around the target that you have locked onto, forcing them to stay in one place. I mean, it can be good. It can. Uh, we'll equip a Thunder. Thunders are always nice to have. Here's the Fire Dash. Oh, man! Dude, Minecraft mod is too good. I can see why everybody wants to download them. All right, Fire reached its maximum level. This is great. Okay. Now that we have two Fireas, we can meld them together to get, yeah, you guessed it, Fireaga. Now you can meld Fireaga with another Fire to also get Fireaga, but if we meld two Fireas together to make Fireaga, we can get a much better ability when we attach to it. So, to get Fireaga, if we mix two Fireas together, it's Type B. And for Type B, if we attach, <laughs> oh yes. If we attach Wellspring Crystal to this, we get Once More. And I'm going to tell you right now, Once More is one of those abilities you want to get as fast as possible. So here we go. Fireaga with Once More. Uh, can we make anything else? Not yet. Not anything that I want to make. So we can equip that beautiful Fireaga. And we can replace the... I guess we'll replace it with Strike Raid. I mean, right, might as well get the Strike Raid up to a decent level, right? I'm not going to bother with the uh, unversed symbol portal. That leads basically to a special enemy game. I will be doing those later in the run when I have the commands needed to just obliterate them. Fundara has reached its maximum level, so we get Magic Haste and Thunder Boost. Oh, that's just great. Guess we'll equip another Fire Dash, and I guess we'll equip a Bind. We actually have almost maxed out our commands. Which means maybe we should pay the shop a visit. Actually, by that I mean we absolutely are paying the shop a visit. Because we also should have quite a bit of money now. Oh yeah, 1,000. The ad said 3,000. Okay, yeah, look at all the stuff we can buy. I definitely... Okay, so here's... This might sound weird. We're going to buy another block. We're going to want that. Uh, let's see. We don't really have... Oh, we don't have any arrows. We don't have any ignites. That's fine, though. Uh, I want... I definitely want two more magnets. 
No, not seven magnets, just two. Um, I could go for some zero gravities. Maybe some blizzards. Yeah, we don't don't have much in the way of blizzards. Okay, forget fire dash and all. No, forget this. We want to equip the magnets to get those up up to, <laughs> to a decent level relatively quickly. Forget strike raids. Strike raids have a high enough level now. Let's start equipping the blizzards instead. There's probably going to be a lot of these grinding episodes, and I'll cut most of the footage out, most likely. Because, uh, if you want to get everything in this game, you, you're going to be grinding for a long time. Flame Solo is max level, so I'll show you what happens. Yeah. This is what happens when you max your shot lock out. We can tap A as fast as we can, we just shoot fire everywhere. And yeah, it's disgustingly powerful. <laughs> Shot locks get insanely broken when you're at, uh, like, when you get it to max level. Now that we've finished leveling up Flame Salvo, we'll start leveling up Meteor Shower. This shot lock is interesting. You can lock on a whole bunch of times. And it's basically Flame Salvo, but we launch, like, little Meteor pellets at them. Otherwise, it works pretty much the same. It's crazy good. Wow, we're level 16! Good job, Terra. Alright, Fire Dash is leveled up. Fan fantastic. And Blizzard is as well. Cool, so let's equip two other Blizzards. And we'll start leveling up the Zero Gravities as well. Alright, we're gonna meld our two Blizzards together to get Blizzara, and we attach a Shimmering Crystal so we can get Blizzard Boost. Aw, oh, yeah. Now we're going to meld our two magnets together to get another Magnera. Because Magnera is really good. And we're going to attach a Hungry Crystal to it to get another Treasure Magnet. Which I think is just fitting for a Magnet. We're now going to meld our two Fundaras together. And we're going to attach a Soothing Crystal to it. And this gives us Fundago with Defender. Defender is kind of a garbage ability, but a, it's a one-of-a-kind one. And I figured, hey, might as well because I can't get any better abilities at this point. Thunder! Dude, Fundaga is disgustingly good. <laughs> and it's just even better if you use it on enemies that are covered in, uh, pulled into the magnet. Well, let me just show you its power. Magnera. Fundaga! <laughs> yeah, it's kind of good. I don't know if you knew that, but, uh... There's no salvation today. There is only Minecraft mod. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we might be getting pretty powerful in this game. So I'm not sure how much of that you guys actually saw. I'll be cutting most of it out. But we leveled up a huge amount of commands. We melded some a bunch of new ones. We got some great abilities. Now we're going to head over and see what the Mirage Arena is all about. This is an interesting world. This is kind of this world's version of the Olympus Coliseum. Totally optional, too. Mirage Arena. You can go for the whole game without ever setting foot into the Mirage Arena. But I definitely recommend that you do, because there's some pretty cool stuff here. And some not-so-cool stuff. Welcome to the Mirage Arena! The Mirage Arena features several modes. Arena mode, command board, and rumble racing. Choose a color for your armor. Yeah, you can actually change the color of the armor if you want. Which is very interesting. So you can actually customize your character a little bit. If you want to make him, like, more red, you can. I honestly just kind of like default, though. I'm, that, I'm, a, I'm a default kind of guy. There's a Moogle here. So basically, as you play the different modes in the Mirage Arena, you get medals, and you can use the medals to trade into the Moogle for different items. So there's special commands here, like Group Cure. Restore a small amount of HP to yourself and nearby friends. You can also get things like Aerial Recovery. Yeah, we don't have Aerial Recovery yet, so maybe we want that. We can get a bunch of the different Synthesis Crystals here for some medals as well. We can get special commands like Confetti or Victory Pose, which are interesting. More on that in a bit. As well as tickets to certain Arena Modes that you need. We don't have any medals right now, so... Arena Mode, we battle enemies in the arena. This is basically like the Olympus Cups, where you go through several waves of enemies and try to beat them all. And then you can also play the command board here. So the difference between the command board here and the command board that you can just play normally is that the, when you play the command board here, you win medals at the end of it, but there aren't ne nearly as many bonus panels if you play command board here. If you play command board just outside the Mirage Arena, there are generally a lot more bonus panels for you to unlock. So that's kind of the key difference there. Now, before we load up anything, we gotta make sure our command deck is uh, loaded properly. So, we want to make sure we've got Magnera. 
definitely, along with Fundaga. We get Blizzara in as well. I'm also going to make sure that we have our second Magnara here. We want two Magneras. It's going to be important. Instead of Ignite, do we have a Fundara? We don't. We just have regular Thunder. I'll use Fission Fyraga then. That's also pretty good for this mode. And just one Cure, just one Kira is a bit risky, but I think we can do it because we're not going to be doing any, anything crazy difficult here. Uh, we got our block to a higher level, so let's use Focus Block instead. And yeah, we can keep using Meteor Shower as our main, as our main shot lock. All right. So arena mode. So this default battle here, we have Day of Reckoning, <laughs> risk one out of five, four rounds, and there's a bonus. So if we, uh, <laughs> the bonus challenge is basically we'll give you extra medals if you can complete them. So as far as which battle we can do, we can do Day of Reckoning. We can do Weaver Fever, which is a bit tougher. Day of Reckoning and Weaver Fever, that's it. So we're going to start with Day of Reckoning. Tough as nails, heal five times or less. So if we heal five times or less and get to the end, then we get some bonus medals. So let's try this one out. Move to the middle of the hub. Yes, I'm ready. And if the arena map, if the arena battles are too tough for you, then don't worry, you can always come back later when you are stronger. So here we go, this is the first battle. Nice job, Terra, you guarded in the wrong direction. But Magnara plus Fundara is pretty great. You can also use Magnara plus Fission Fyraga for an amazing attack as well. Magnara is... The Magnet spells are generally really, really good, but especially for Arena. Look at that. Even Terra, who's sucky at magic, can just obliterate things with Magnara plus Fandaga. And if you have Magnega, or Magnega, that's even better. Beautiful. And of course you do get command experience when you are in the arena. So as you can see, these guys have a lot of HP, even more than they had in Dwarf Woodruns, which is why I generally don't recommend you start with the Mirage Arena until after you clear the first trio of worlds. I mean, if you're really good at the game and you can start earlier, that's fine. No one no one's stopping you, but And all of my magic commands are reloading faster because of the one magic haste ability I got. They would be ro reloading even more slowly if I didn't. I also need to remember I can use shot locks. How do you like Blizzara? Alright. <laughs> We're on the boss already. Now, unfortunately... The magnets are not going to be very useful against the bosses, because bosses don't get pulled into magnets for the most part. Here we are. Big Unversed. It's time for the boss, Iron Imprisoner 1. This is where we're going to start using the shot locks. Watch his HP bar. Look at how quickly that's disappearing. Look at that. We just shaved off half of his health with that. Don't underestimate this guy. He might be relatively easy, but that doesn't mean he can't get some good hits in. And look at that. Oh, look at that. We have our focus gauge built up again. Let's finish him off with another shot lock. <laughs> this is the power of shot locks when they reach high level. They are insane. They, are in they deal ridiculously high damage, and you're completely invincible while using them. Might they might be broken. Of course, we only get 50 medals, and we didn't even need to heal at all, so we cleared the challenge, which gives us basically another 50% extra medal. So we have 75 medals as a result of that. And arena level up! You fought your way through the Day of Reckoning in arena mode. So basically, you have an arena level. As your arena level increases, you can do more arena challenges, and you can get more prizes from the Moogle. There is one thing. One of the bonus bosses you cannot reach till you get to the maximum arena level. Another way of getting to a high arena level is to get medals. So you do want to do a bunch of stuff in arena mode to uh, increase your arena level. So if you don't understand, I'll go to reports. Uh, let's see, under... Maybe it doesn't... Game records? Yeah, arena missions. So as you can see, arena level 2. So each of these medal challenges, collect 300 medals, collect 1,000, free, 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 all of these. Each time we reach one of these milestones, we will gain an arena level. 
Each time we complete something in arena mode, we will get an arena level. Each time, uh, when we win certain uh, command boards certain amounts of times, we will get new <laughs> arena levels. So we do want to level up ourselves in the arena. That is important. And are we max level up with Meteor Shower? We are. I'm going to switch on over to Thunderstorm, the last one that needs to be leveled up. And are our commands high? Okay. Nothing that's not the case before. Oh, can we meld our two cures now? And also, as a sidebar, should we meld our two Kiras together? Because melding the two Kiras together will give us Kiraga. And if you make Kiraga with two Cures, you can get something really good. But I don't know if we have the crystal needed to get the really good thing. Oh no, we can. Okay. Yeah, we're melding these two Kiras together. And adding a Pulsing Crystal. Which gives us Kiraga with Second Chance. Second Chance plus once more plus Re Leaf Bracer means... We're going to be ridiculously hard to kill. Because, for those of you who don't know, I should take... I'll... Here, let me show off the abilities we have. So we have two treasure magnets. So each treasure magnet will attract enemy drops to us. So once you have a free, you're set. And if you get all five, it's like, yeah, you, no, you just get everything. HP prize plus means that we get more HP drops from enemies. We have two out of the free HP boosts. One out of the free blizzard boosts. One out of the free thunder boosts. One out of the five magic haste. Both combo finisher boosts. One finish boost. We have Defender, increases your defense whenever your HP ball falls below 25%. I talked to, I have briefly mentioned we got Defender, but yeah, all this really does is when your HP is below 25%, you get, I think, plus free defense. It's really bad, especially on critical mode, where, like, when your HP is below 25%, you're basically at 1 HP anyways, so that really doesn't matter. We have two out of the three combo pluses. Second Chance, ensures you always retain 1 HP after an attack that would otherwise finish you off, unless you are, are, are already down to 1 HP. Basically means that the enemies will not be able to kill us unless we are already at 1 HP. Once more means that we will retain 1 HP throughout a combo that would otherwise finish us off unless we were already at 1 HP when the first attack hits. So second chance and once more together basically means we will always have an opportunity to cure as long as we have a cure that's re re ready for us to reload. And with Leaf Bracer, which prevents us from taking damage while we're casting cure, basically means that if we have a deck filled with nothing but cures, we really can't die. I say we basically can't die because uh, you still can. More on that later. All right, but now that we're arena level two, we can still do Weaver Fever, or we can do Day of Reckoning, and we can do Weaver Fever. I'm gonna try Weaver Fever, but I think this one's gonna be a lot tougher than the first one. So if we don't get it, we don't get it. Bonus challenge: Practice makes perfect. Perform a combined total of at least eight style changes and shot locks. So anytime we perform a shot lock or go to a different command style, that will count towards it. All right, before we move to the middle, I'm going to wait for my Fandaga to charge all the way back up. And as you can see, Kiraga, it's very good. It basically completely refills all your HP, but it has a slow recharge. So I hope we don't have to heal a whole lot. Although we can always enter a D-Link, because entering a D-Link fully heals you as well. Actually, no, you can't D-Link in the arena. I forgot about that. So we're back in the Enchanted Dominion. If memory serves, the enemies in this aren't that difficult, but the boss is. So we're going to try our best. And at the very least, if you die in the arena, you it's not a game over. You just lose the arena battle. Plus it's only four challenges, so... This is the Thunderstorm. As you can see, Thunderstorm at low level is really bad. But once we get it to high level, it'll be pretty good. I love it when that happens. Uh oh. Beautiful. Face the right way, Terra. Walking onto the wrong enemy. That's great, Terra. Good job. 
I love how the plant fiends are really weak to fire attacks. That helps. Okay, we're running low on HP now. That's not good. Face the right way when I want you to counter Terra. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. Also, the more enemies that get pulled into a magnet at once, the more damage your Fundaga will do. Okay, this is the part that's tough. It's a rematch against the Wheelmaster boss, but this guy has a lot more HP now. And of course, we have a low level shot lock. This fight we're ever going to lose to, or it's going to take a while. Or it'll take a while and we still lose to it. Which is the devil whammy. It doesn't look like he has a lot of HP, but he has a lot of moving parts to him. Either that or I'm thinking of a different... There is more than one arena battle where you fight the Wheelmaster. So maybe I'm thinking of a different one. Okay, we're actually dishing out a huge amount of damage to him, so... Okay, no, hang on. Yeah, so that's just one part of him. So we're about to destroy one part of him, and then he'll drop some HP orbs for us. But now he's gonna go start going crazy. His main body still has a huge amount of HP. I'm gonna use shot locks where I can because I'm mean, still useful. Excuse me, rude. Okay, we can't guard that. Okay, cool, he's stunned. This is good. We can build up our command gauge and then perform the finish move. After he jumps out of the way. Brilliant. jump over to shockwaves. No! He jumped out of the way of my fission fire, Aga. Oh yes, this is gonna deal lots of damage. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh, that took out two bars of HP. <laughs> okay, we did it. Nice, and we get... <laughs> because we beat that cup, we also get an HP boost. That's nice. Good job, Terra. Yep. And we get an extra 25% medal, so we get 100 medals for beating that. We fought our way for the Weaver Fever in arena mode, so we are now arena level 3. So now that we're arena level 3, can we get anything new from the shop? Some Trinity Limit. Yeah, Trinity Limit's in this. 1,400 medals. Detonate a light charge. Press X when prompted for more power. Uses three slots. Some commands require more than one slot to equip. This one requires three. It's not worth it. Man, 175 medals is not nearly as much as I thought it would be. Alright. Can we do any more arena modes? Oh, we unlocked Sinister Sentinel. Arena level three. Five rounds. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's try it. Lightning reflexes successfully block enemy attacks at least 20 times to get the bonus medals. 
Let's go for it. We might not be able to do this one, but we'll see. Oh yeah, they're they're not taking nearly as much damage from that fun dog. Oh yeah. The enemies have a lot more defense now. Oh my gosh, yeah. Maybe this was a mistake. A full combo plus Minecraft mod was not enough to finish that guy off. I guess we can still do a good amount of damage with our counter hammer. Kind of. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Round two. You're done. Take that. You're Got a time pressing X when the circles overlap, and we can shoot extra thunderbolts at them. Take that. You're done. Take that. Take that. Take that. I love how I'm. Terra, the attacking guy, and I equipped nothing but magic spells. <laughs> Goodbye. Loosh. Impressive. Gotta love Fish and Fire Aga. I just think we're not supposed to have Fission by Raga at this point. We sequence broke to get that one. Oh no, these new en these enemies are annoying. So these kind of are like the fat guys from uh the heartless ones, where they have to see the valves on their back, you're really you're not supposed to be able to damage them unless you hit the valves on their back. If you hit their fronts, uh, like I think three times, then they get mad and will charge you down. Yep, just like that. And once they get mad, you can't actually kill them. They, you have to wait for them to self-destruct. And they can do a lot of damage if they self-destruct on you. Still, we're leveling up handsomely. Darn it. He got mad just before we finished him off. At this point, I'm saving my shot lock for the boss who is in the next round. Minecraft mod! Terra started out wanting to be like a hero who uses the Keyblade for good, and then he just got deeply involved in Minecraft modding. And that's his sad tale. A tale that so many of us uh, share. I mentioned people really liked the Birth by Sleep story, and I didn't. That's why. <laughs> Why is this guy taking so much damage? My attacks are barely doing squat to him. Alright, here we go. Take 
How juicy. Oh no, not the stupid bird. The bird enemies are annoying. Because when there's just one, they tend to f just fly far away and be hard to hit. Thankfully, they're no match for the Minecraft mod. Okay, the boss is going to be the toughest part. By far. So the boss of the first arena challenge was Iron and Prisoner 1. Well, he has broken free of his shackles. He has this massive hammer. So get ready for Iron and Prisoner 2. And it's a good thing that uh, we have second chance at once more. Because we are already needing them. We might have to rely on our shot box to get it through this one. Uh oh. Thank you, Leaf Bracer, and second chance at once more. <laughs> I would have been dead without all three of those. Oh yes. Because of focus block, every time I block successfully, I get more shot lock meter back. And shot locks are going to be my main way of having to deal with them. I really should have equipped a higher level of shot lock before attempting this, but I wanted to level this one up in the arena. No, please. When the ground shakes, that means you're going to need to dash. Oh, this is bad. Okay, he summoned the cage. He's going to try to trap us in the cage, and if he traps us in the cage, we need to break out of it. What?! So much for second chance at once more! I wasn't at one health. And yet it just killed me. That should not have happened. I had second chance at once more. Both of those combined should have protected me. Well, Magnera reached the final level, so did Bazaar, so did Fyraga. Cool, which means we can now meld another thing I've wanted to meld. Fyraga plus Slow. Seems like a weird one. Why are you melding Fyraga and Slow together? What would that do? Well, my friends, it's going to make something rather interesting now. And we are going to add... A Shimmering Crystal. To give us Fire Boost. for Crawling Fire. Crawling Fire is basically a slower version of Fyraga. Launch a slow-moving fire ball of fire that deals multiple hits to a single enemy as it passes through. Doesn't sound very good, but it will be very, very valuable. Trust me. You trust me, bro. Let's meld our two zero gravities together as well to get zero gravera. Uh, we'll get a shimmering crystal to give us zero gravera with cure boost, which will increase the amount of HP cure it refills to us. We will meld blizzard with blizzara. We will get blizzaga. Yeah, shimmering crystal. And this gives us another blizzard boost. Ooh, okay. I am going to save those two magnaris for when I can meld them together and get something really, really good. But in the meantime, we want to equip Crawling Fire, we want to equip Blizzaga, we want to equip Zero Gravera, we'll also equip Ignite, and one of the Binds. Not that we're going to attempt that again. However, I will play on the command board again, but I'm only going to play two players on the Keyblade board. I'll show off if anything interesting happens, but I'm just going to be playing the same way that I would play before. Except for some reason, we're playing in our armor this time. I like going first. All right. A one. So yeah, as you look at the board, there's only one bonus panel here. And it's a zero gravity, as opposed to like the six there were when I played the first time. Yeah, I, I destroyed her. <laughs> And I got a bunch of my commands to level up. <laughs> Aw, yeah. And we get 157 medals for that. Way more than we got for the main arena matches. Hey, we got to arena level 4 because we've collected at least 300 medals, and we got to arena level 5 because we won a f our first command board game.
Fantastic. Well, uh, we can't do Rumble Racing yet because we haven't actually unlocked it. More on Rumble Racing later. However, we will go to the Royal Board and try to beat Cinderella again, and then we can end the video pretty much. <laughs> Once again, if anything interesting happens, then I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, it's probably just going to be simple as always. And yeah, I destroyed her. I went around the board two times and finished before Cinderella even got around the board one time. Because they don't know how to use their hands properly. And there we go. And we got 151 medals for that. But we did not get any arena uh, level ups from that. Alright. Now at this point we can get Group Cura along with Confetti Fireworks, blah blah blah. Vanish. Make yourself invisible to foes for a set period of time. Interesting. I'm actually going to save up my medals. While Aerial Recovery is tempting for me, I believe we get Aerial Recovery in a chest outside of this world as well. There's not much point in having two of them, and most of these other commands honestly just kind of suck. And if we save our arena medals, we can eventually get shot locks that we can only get at the arena. So that is what we are going to do. And there we go. I believe that is finally the end of this episode. I have no idea how long this is going to actually end up being because I think I'm going to cut out like 90% of this episode. But it took me over an hour and a half to record this just with all of the grinding I did. But I hope it was entertaining for you guys nonetheless. And next time we will be going to the Radiant Garden, which is what Hollow Bastion used to be before it got taken over by the Heartless. So this will be an interesting world for sure. And because of how much we've grinded, I'm pretty sure things are going to be really easy before we set foot in there. And before we even do that, I'm going to make sure that our... Ooh, cool. Fundaga got to its max level. That's nice. Um, in that case, I think I'm going to just preemptively equip Magnera. Because I think that's going to be nice to have just as a preemptive measure to deal with some of the mob fights in this world. And do we still need Thunderstorm as our default shot lock? No. Out of all these, the default Sonic Shadow is my favorite. It may not be the most powerful, but it is, like, it's my favorite. It gives you a huge amount of invincibility, and it's great against bosses and common enemies alike. So that is how we're going to do it. Anyhow, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Yeah, look forward to next time. Radiant Garden should be a very interesting world, very fun. Hopefully it'll be a lot more interesting to watch than this, where we only had, like, five minutes of story. Xehanort's definitely evil, and then we just grinded. Yeah, that's Birth by Sleep. If you want to get everything, you gotta grind a whole lot. And there's also a whole set of worlds over here that we can't reach either, so... That'll be interesting. So, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.